was my first time trying the lemon lime celsius and it honestly tastes like sprite but it's also like eight in the morning so i don't love it everyone and welcome back to my channel so so excited to bring you guys today's video which is a spring break week in my life so today it is monday march 27th today i got up early and i'm going to orange theory it's about 8 30 right now i have an 8 45 class so i gotta go but quick rundown for the day i plan to have a productive chill day today i honestly have homework for some of my classes i wanted to edit a video and then maybe apply to some jobs so we will see about that and then for the rest of the week i just have some really fun plans including getting my cartilage pierced and going to a little beach town for a spa day with my mom so i'm very very excited to bring you guys my freshman year of college spring break vlog as a stay-at-home daughter seriously guys being home for spring break like is my favorite thing ever like i have been just relaxing and it's so peaceful this is like my first kind of like day to myself which is exactly what i needed to kind of you know kickstart the week get back on track because the last few days i barely even unpacked so we're gonna get after it today starting with going to orange theory i gotta go right now so i will see you guys after class just finished my orange theory class i did a lift 45 so it was like 45 minutes of like just lifting which is like what i've needed because seriously in college i feel like i haven't been lifting as much as I've been wanting to, especially because I was sick with a sinus infection and bronchitis for like two weeks. I was so, so sick. But yeah, and then I literally got injured. So then I couldn't work out because of that. And now I'm finally like kind of getting back to it. So happy about that. But yeah, my hands are like shaking because my arms are so sore. But guys, seriously, when I woke up this morning, I was like, if I could cancel the class right now, I would. It was 8 a.m. and I was so, so tired. I snoozed my alarm already. Um, I mean, I still barely made it out of the door on time. All right, guys, stay-at-home daughter stop two of the day. First stop was Orange Theory. Second stop is this, like, local, like, Italian market. And it's my favorite thing ever. And they have such good, like, meat and cheese, which is perfect because tonight I'm making a charcuterie board for the finale of The Bachelor. <laughs> Just my breakfast. It's not even a little aesthetic, but I'm starving. It's um, made my coffee, got back from the store, and seriously, like this time yesterday, I was like just waking up. So I've already done so much, and I'm very proud of myself. I need to eat this because I'm so so hungry. Um, my arms are shaking still because I had to take care of my heavy bag of groceries inside too, and all around the store in my little cart because I like or in my little basket because I didn't use a cart. I don't really know why. Alright guys, so last time I updated you, I was taking my like everything shower, doing my hair mask, and then self tanning, put in a load of laundry, and then I got to work unpacking my duffel bag for spring break, and just hanging up all my clothes in my closet. So I've had a very like chore focused, like stay at home daughter kind of day. From Brandy, a couple days ago, I got this little cross necklace that I'm wearing right now. Also from Brandy, I got this stuff in San Diego, but I got this little like cross front top like a cinch on the side and it kind of, it was giving like Roy Gilmore like when I tried it on, so I was like, okay, I gotta get this. Also, I got this little tank, it's just like a white little tank with a little bow and from Target like right when I got home. I got these flare leggings. They're like from Target. They were $28. And they feel just like the Lululemon, like wonder under material. There isn't a seam in the front. And I really, really like that. And then yesterday from Madewell, I got the cutest romper or like play suit little thing. It looks like this. And it's like this really soft, just like cottony material. And I really like how it has like a built-in bra on the inside. I don't know if you can see. And I totally forgot. I also got a book from Barnes & Noble's. I got Maybe in Another Life. I've been in a huge reading slump. I just finished Carrie Soto's Back. And that book was really good. But it had like some slow parts. So I think it kind of just like put me in a slump. And I think just like college in general. Like I feel like I never really read as much. So I'm currently working on this like test thing I have for class. 
and then I have some little snacks. These are literally my favorite things ever. And then I've never had this, but I love the Sargento Balance Breaks, like the regular ones. So I'm going to try this. And then I literally, this is my new favorite drink. I got a Raspberry Lime Spindrift, which I love. And then to make it a little sweeter and add like a tiny bit of caffeine because I'm tired, um, I added in just a splash of the Lemon Lime Celsius that I had this morning. And it's so good, so refreshing and like, just a little bit sweet you guys are resting very precariously on top of a candle my aquaphor and a coffee cup so well we'll see how this goes yeah i'm gonna do a quick little get ready with me for lunch with a friend so it's about noon right now and i'm just gonna do like some super simple makeup i already have my sweater on and i'm just gonna put some low-rise jeans on it was like pouring earlier i think the rain like stopped momentarily so perfect time for me to film especially when it's raining like i almost feel like putting the makeup on is like a waste sometimes also sorry if i'm looking at the viewfinder instead of the camera it's like hard for me to focus on whenever i'm doing my makeup exciting life update is that my school san diego state um our basketball team made it to the final four which is crazy we're the first team literally in the mountain west to even make it to the elite eight and now to the final four. First time in school history, first time in Mountain West history, which is like the division we're in. So I think that is so, so cool. It is so awesome. Like the year that I came to San Diego State, like Snapdragon Stadium opened, which is like our football stadium. And then we are like doing amazing in basketball. And my dad is an alumni at SDSU. So he's obviously like super excited and Obviously, I'm excited to see, like, my whole family is really just, we're acting like we're on the team, honestly, at this point. Another life update, I literally applied to a job yesterday, and I already got a thing to set up an interview, so I'm very, very excited. Sky High Mascara, this has been, like, my new favorite. Makeup's pretty much done, except just have to brush my eyebrows, but my only, like, Last thing I was gonna say was, oh my gosh, I'm getting my cartilage pierced tomorrow. I'm super excited for that. I got lost coming here, but we got here. But we've been catching up. We're going thrifting, but we've been catching up on all of our high school drama over- College drama. Or college drama, but also like rehashing high school a little bit. Um, that's what makes life fun. That's what makes life fun. The personification of our umbrella. <laughs> I want to do a quick haul in my car before I go inside. But at this really cool like thrift store kind of thing, um, I had never been to it before, heard of it, but I got a couple pieces. So I got this men's large um, North Face hoodie that just says the North Face. And I literally just picture myself wearing this with leggings. I always just buy sweatshirts. It's, it's like a problem. This next thing I literally manifested because I was seriously just talking about like, oh, I need a really good like cover up, like a swimsuit cover up. And I found this and it wasn't like on sale or anything. It was like 12 bucks, which is a little expensive. Um, but like it was a little more of an expensive for a store to be honest, like the air, given the area it was in, I'm not surprised. Um, but it just has like that little cinch thing. It's just like the crochet kind of vibe. It's kind of longer, but I like it because then I can like wear it with a swimsuit. So I barely ended up vlogging today, but I just figured I would come on here and show you guys my outfit. Starting with the headband, this is from Lululemon. Seriously, like the best quality headbands just because like they stay up because they have like little grip stuff. The earrings in my seconds are from Brandy. These earrings are from Amazon. They're the Pavoy brand, I believe. And then necklace, Brandy. And then a sweatshirt, thrifted from a little thrift shop in San Francisco. Leggings, the Lululemon, the mini flare ones. Love these so much. And then Air Forces, obviously, because it was raining. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Me and my mom are currently headed to, to this little beach town right by Monterey. So I'm very, very excited. And we're planning to stay overnight 
and today we're doing like a little spa day, we're getting dinner, all these fun things. Alright guys, so we just got back to the hotel from the spa and guys let me tell you, it was so amazing, so relaxing, it was just like perfect. Then I took some really quick Instagram pictures with my mom. It's gonna change really quickly. We're gonna go out and do like some shopping and then come back here, get all ready for dinner. Yeah, and then tomorrow we're gonna get up, get coffee, hopefully like walk down to the beach and then we have to leave because we actually decided last night that we're going to Houston to watch the Aztecs, Aztecs versus Florida Atlantic in Houston. And I've never been to Texas, so that'll be pretty exciting. But yeah, literally we come back from this trip, we go straight to that trip. I come back from that trip and then the next day, then the next morning, I literally go home back to school. Currently, me and my mom are getting ready and listening to um, Black Eyed Peas. I did like a half up, half down, slick back. Just left my hair curly and then Brandy, Brandy. <laughs> Carmel. It is day two of Carmel, our final morning, and I just got up, got ready, packed all of my stuff because we have to leave by 9.30 so we can get home, pack for Houston, and then head there. Yeah, I'm just wearing my Brandy Martha's Vineyard sweatshirt, leggings. Seriously, and it's so beautiful here. Like, look at the beautiful blue skies. Look at the weather. Like, I just feel so calm and peaceful here, and like, especially yesterday at Refuge. Like, Amazing, amazing spot. Guys, it's 10.45 right now. When we came back from Carmel this morning, which you guys saw, we literally had to come home. I showered, washed my hair, quickly, quickly packed, and then we headed to the airport for our flight. Our flight, I think, was at 2. And then because of the time change, and it takes like 3 or 4 hours to get here, that took a little while. So we finally got here at like eight, got to the hotel by nine. Dad keeps seeing people that are like wearing SCSU gear, going up, talking to them, and they have like an hour conversation. Like, I'm not even kidding. But I'm gonna quickly do some skincare and then literally just turn on the TV, watch that for a few minutes and go to bed because I know tomorrow is gonna be like so hectic, so busy. I think we're leaving at like three for the game. The game's at five, which is exciting. So we're getting really hyped for the game. I'm very excited. It makes this vlog so much more fun. Like my mom always says like surprise around the corner. Like two days ago, my parents booked these tickets. Like we had no idea we were coming here, no idea at all. And now we're in a completely different state that I've never been to before. Just doing my skincare, about to brush my teeth, but I also like clean my piercing. And I realized I like never talked to you guys about my piercing and like my personal ranking, the pale skin, all of that. Because I feel like if you guys are if you guys are thinking about getting a cartilage piercing, you might be curious. So obviously I'm gonna tell you guys everything about my experience. I originally had an appointment set for this one place um, and it was downtown and me and my friend Ellie got there and we didn't realize they were like close repairs and they rescheduled our appointment for a month later. Now in a month, that was gonna be April 29th and I'm gonna be in San Diego. So I was like, well, that, that's not gonna work. Call around and like see if any places can like get us in today. So we call this place, they're like, cool, like we can get you in. Our last piercing appointment's are like at five. So come in anytime before then, we'll get you in. So we go, place is great, you know, super clean, people were really nice. And basically she like put the little dot in my ear, checked it, looked great. I laid down and I was like, oh my God, like this is when I was kind of starting to freak out. And that's the part I was kind of worried about because I'm like, okay, I don't really like needles. Like it was so nice because the process was like so like quick. It was like, it was over right away. Like it literally took, literally was like probably a minute and a half to get my ear pierced. And seriously, I would say the pain scale on a scale of one to 10, like a three, maybe not even a three. Like. Seriously, I could just feel, it was just uncomfortable to feel like the needle slide through my ear. And then she literally just put my earring in. Like, it really just did not hurt at all. How excited are you? This is for the vlog. This is like a video. Okay, we're 
had in and right now. But now we're at game two, which is Miami and Yukon. And it's exciting. Yukon is beating Miami by a lot, but um, hopefully they can pull it off. We'll see. 